All right, guys, so we're back on the full float 60 that's being cut down to a semi-float Dana 60. Um, I just wanted to really show you my setup here um, and how I kind of go about getting everything lined up before I go to weld it. So as you can see, the housing ends are off. Um, we've chamfered this, so we have a nice valley. So you can see I'm using my alignment bar. This is uh, Mittler Bros makes this kit. Um, I bought this probably like almost five years ago now. Um, but it's a really nice kit. Comes with the bar, uh, comes with your internal pucks um, and, and a different external pucks. So this will work on your nine inches, your Dana 60s, your Dana 44s, Mopars, just a lot of stuff. So again, they do not sponsor me. I just, these are the tools that I'm using. I just like to pass that along to you guys and in, uh, uh, in your builds. So I've got the alignment bar pucks inside, got the bar set up. Um, I've set my pinion angle right about 10 degrees. Um, pretty much how I'm how I'm doing these housing ends. This flat part has to go vertical, of course, or towards the top. Um, and I just kind of go off of a stock um, international rear rear end, um, which gives you about 10 degrees of pinion angle uh, where this is level. So you can see we got our alignment bar sitting in there, and really nice chamfer. And the great thing about this setup is just get everything buttoned up really nice and snug. Push that tight. And as you can see, really nice distance all the way around. You do have a little bit of a of play. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell on video, but you have a little bit of movement there. And how I'm going to weld this, I, I've done it. A few different ways but i think the best way to do this where you're going to have the least amount of distortion is i'm going to tack this in about eight places so top bottom front and back and then in between there and and then what i will pretty much end up with is these more uh stitch welds where you're going you know maybe an inch on one side move around to the other side do an inch let it cool move over to the opposite side and and just kind of have as little amount of heat build up as possible this is not a process that you want to rush through so so kind of take your time in it um, again prep is really good so before i go to weld this i'm going to take um, a map gas and just heat up in there get rid of all the residual oils and whatever moisture is there and uh, try to have as good of a place uh, to, to put the root weld down and then uh, once your root weld is done put a cap on it and then um, you can grind leave your weld if you really like it or just grind it flush if you want so this is the setup for doing it um, again once you have the alignment bar this becomes really straightforward um, you're just at that point determining what width you want to build this to and for uh just your standard old full float Dana 60 um, that probably would have just kept sitting in a field. Now this thing's going to be stuffed with a Yukon zip locker, 35 spline axle shafts, um, disc brakes, and it's going to be a pretty, pretty awesome rear axle for, for a CJ7. So if you like this uh, video, hit the like button, uh, share it, subscribe, and uh, we'll... Uh, Next video, I'm gonna kind of go over that front end right there, which is the 44. We've got it cut down, and uh, I'll kind of go through the process on that once we get there. All right, thanks guys. See you on the next one.